This video is a Destiny 2 review, but to start off, I want to remind you that there was a point in time where Cyberpunk 2077 was intended to have a multiplayer expansion. This game, where third person doesn't even work yet because there are no actual animations, this was going to be multiplayer. Every successful single player IP eventually gets at least some gimmicky multiplayer mode. Why does this happen? Are video games not fun enough without friends? Well, research shows that companies love money, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know, and I don't want to dwell on this just yet, but I do want to get into what makes and breaks multiplayer as a concept, and in that regard, Destiny 2 is probably a useful game to analyze. And I want to emphasize the word useful, but I also have the option to call it good. Some multiplayer games are actually pretty fun to play alone. Unfortunately, Sea of Thieves is a great example of this. Ironically, I've probably spent double the time playing this game solo than I have with the crew, and yet I've earned maybe half the gold in progress in that time. That in itself is kind of frustrating, it's kind of an arbitrary punishment for playing the game alone. Meanwhile, games like Fallout 76 see this and say, okay, well let's just have everybody in the server team up. And the multiplayer aspect of the game becomes kind of pointless. Nobody talks, nobody really does anything beyond mindlessly shooting in vats. Everybody tells me the best part of the game is playing with friends, so I went and I vouched for what's known as one of the shittiest games on the market, got a friend or two on, and I didn't even know what we were supposed to do together. I still don't know what you're supposed to do, they really need to add shit to this game. I know I mention these games way too often, but the reason I bring this up is because it sucks when a game refuses to double down on how you're supposed to play it. Destiny 2 doesn't really have that problem, and to that end, if you're thinking about getting into D2 to play it solo, I'm gonna have to say I don't recommend it. You should only play this game if your friends play it, and even then, I was a little iffy on it for a number of years because the game doesn't do a great job of being fun. You kind of have to do that part with whoever you're playing with. If you've ever played D2, and it's been out for more than five years, so I kind of expect that you have, then you know what I'm talking about. All this shit at the top of the director is like the only thing you can do without a pre-made fire team. Now, I don't want to discount these modes. They're they exist, but I think the reason anyone would play D2 would be to do raids or play the campaigns, because that type of content is the best that the game has to offer. You could do LFGs. You could do that. I haven't tried it. But my friends seem to prefer teaching me the mechanics over playing with randoms, so that gives me a pretty clear picture of the quality of the player you'll find in LFGs. And if Nightfall queue is any indication, your average Destiny 2 player sucks total dick at everything. So with that in mind, I'm going to start talking about campaigns before this review turns into something more akin to an angry memo to the developers, which, come to think of it, that's pretty much every review on this channel. I'm going to sound like a zoomer whose brain has been reduced to sludge by Family Guy clips and GTA racing videos, but D2 campaigns are the perfect complement to having something else going on in your other monitor. There are people who are interested in the lore. I am not one of them. Nevertheless, I appreciate the fact that campaign missions can make for very good solo content. I know I just gave this game fellatio for being good at multiplayer, but I don't mind it being playable when nobody else is online. Not all parts of the campaign are solo focused, just certain things, but regardless of who you're playing with, campaign content is some of the best and most polished content that D2 has to offer. If you're drawn to this game, it's probably because of the campaigns. I haven't played them all, but I have done Witch Queen, and I have done some of Lightfall, but I haven't finished it yet. What I have played has been really good. I like to see Bungie flex their Halo muscles, especially when 343 seems a bit reluctant to. Like most things in Destiny, campaigns are a lot about neat gameplay mechanics that you use to kill the big guy while simultaneously fighting off the little guys. They're not terribly complicated in comparison to the other things in this game. In comparison to a normal video game made by people who want the player to know what the fuck is happening, let's just say a few hints here and there wouldn't hurt, but it's still fine. Campaigns have two difficulties. Legendary difficulty does a pretty good job of making a fair challenge and rewarding you for knowing what you're doing. Normal difficulty will not be covered in this review, because I've never played it because it's a waste of time, or at least that's what I've been led to believe. All in all, campaigns are good, but I'm reluctant to say they're the best. What do you mean by that? I wasn't looking oh. again. <laughs> it was. It wasn't. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm I might have been tired. <laughs> <laughs> you it failing was. my one job. <laughs> Pick up the damage though. Okay, now that I know what the method for damage is with the rockets, the jumping. We should all it's jump in unison with lives and blow some self up. Everyone keep that in mind. Damage phase just like bunny hop. What if you keep tracing? I got the new 4G's on the beat. Any supers? Oh, cool. There was one. I was about a well on that MF. 
<laughs> I got the chest piece. Rah! I got the. Arr. I got the helmet again. How am I looking? Atrocious. <laughs> Oh, Please. dude, I will be making the most god-awful fit of all time with this chest boost. And I will be a one. Wait, where are you? <laughs> I'll be <No>. a one. <laughs> so you people will realize what this means. Huh? I, under I understood this reference. <laughs> Turn this shit oh. on, homie. I brought it back around. How? Yeah, there we go. But Edward, I was just going to the red line, hitting it when you have the buff. Oh, the red line? The buff. <laughs> We're going to the red line? Or the grand line poop. actually played a full verse. Oh, that's dude, what anus. Dude, ate poop. What are oh. you doing up there still? Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> no, what? We? No, no, no. Who's we? we? Yes. There was we. No. Oh wait, yeah, no. No, it is we. We're gonna. We? Oh, I'm building. Wait, a why'd car. you not? Oh wait. Rating is the only reason fucking anybody should be playing this game. It is fucking amazing. Most games try to find a nice balance of atmosphere, scale gameplay, all the elements that go into crafting a level are controlled so that maybe one element can really stand out. Destiny takes all these pieces and fucking cranks them up to the maximum. These are the biggest, grandest maps. They have the most complicated, what the fuck is happening kind of mechanics strung together with jaw-dropping scripted events. Don't believe me? Go fight Oryx. He's just some titanic, alien fucking thing that smacks you around in this massive room with the view of the whole universe and there's like four mechanics in this fight that are exactly like League of Legends abilities. There's really nothing quite like a good final raid encounter, nothing so memorable. Obviously raiding is where the having friend mechanic comes in handy. Get enough people on, get them to watch a Rick Kakis video, and now Bungie has beautifully crafted the next two or three hours for all of you. Everybody contributes, everybody gets rewards, and it is a blast. Without a doubt, this is the pinnacle D2 experience. Of course, you'll probably only get around to it once every two months, because fuck D2. Specifically, fuck all these modes up here. Everyone who plays Vanguard is fucking retarded. My first ever PvP experience in D2 was queuing up for Iron Banner with Sweet Business equipped. I top scored that match, and immediately I realized what kind of PvP I'd be dealing with. Like every other video game on the market, Destiny 2 is plagued by meta mentality. So far, I've kinda neglected to mention that there's a lot of confusing systems in this game. Outside of PvP, you wouldn't know it. Meta and strategy are kinda optional, because everything can be brute forced with Thunderlord. Mod systems and catalysts and all the buttons in the menu really aren't that hard to figure out. But it is is hard to figure out exactly what the fuck I'm playing against from the level of visual clarity that D2 offers. I don't even know what's broken, or what's annoying, or what repeatedly kills me. I can't even tell what subclass I'm playing against half the time. And even if I can, with some insane luck, figure out what weapon someone is using before I die to it. Oh, great, well now I can try and figure out exactly who the fuck uses these Anagis in PvP. Interactions in these modes are fucking mindless, which only leaves surface level gameplay that struggles to be engaging. Whatever you're facing, you're always playing an outdated standard of FPS that fails to be interesting or rewarding in any sufficient manner. But I guess this is no surprise. Destiny 2 is not Bungie's only game that's guilty of having shitty PvP designed for fucking consoles. It's just the only one that ever had a chance to be something more. I don't know why people play these modes, but they do. Plenty of them. So if you like it, good for you. There's no shortage of lobbies and shitty matches for you to play. And yeah, as much as I don't like these modes, there's still a lot of enjoyable things in this game. It doesn't happen very often. Getting everyone together for a raid is kind of rare. So usually I'm just not playing D2 at all. But when I do, it's pretty good. In essence, it's the kind of game that brings people together, and I really have to give it a lot of credit for being able to successfully facilitate that for such a long time running. So let me put it this way. If you're just sitting around and all your friends are on D2 having a great time together, I'm telling you to immediately drop whatever you're doing and give it a try. I don't care who you are or what you do. If your friends are on it, get on it. Even if they're not, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy D2. You can still be the right player for this game regardless of who you're friends with. Now, if you're going in totally solo, you can, you can still... If you just look past the shitty PvP, you can get exotics and you can level up in the shitty light system so if you're into that, I don't know, some people are into that. I'm not. We are back, baby. We are fucking back. We're back. Yeah. Classic. We are back.